Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outdoors. In this video, I will show you how to sell on Creative Market. So we'll be showing you how to create your account and open up your shop here for Creative Market. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, we all know that having a way of getting income from different platforms is a great idea to invest on in the future. Now, in this case, Creative Market is for people who are in the design industry. Now, meaning if you have a portfolio that you have, you can present, and your you know how the how tos to create uh, graphics or even canvas templates, vector graphics, teams, display fronts, and a lot more. Well, Creative Market here is the best uh, platform for you. Now, in this case, who are the people you using Creative Market here? So there are going to be a lot of people who are using this one. So it may be for business owners, hobbyists, or even for people that's just looking for graphics that you can use for their business or in their personal projects. Well, in this case, we are going to div in, div, uh, go into Creative Market here on how to create and open up your shop. But first things first, before we open up our shop here, we first have to know what are the means of actually earning on a creative market. So in this case, when you actually scroll down a bit to the very bottom here, you should be able to see the affiliate partner benefits and shop benefits. Now there's two ways for you to start earning and creative market. So maybe for affiliate partner benefits, but if you're not aware yet what's affiliate marketing, basically you'll have a link, share this to other people, and when someone actually purchases something on creative market, you'll get a commission for an, uh, from that. So it may be it's going to be a percentage of that specific purchase. Now, if you're going to use the shop benefits here, you'll be able to open up your own shop, sell to other people, and from those sales, you'll be able to start earning. Now, in this case, what are the benefits for affiliate partners? Well, affiliate partners here has a wide uh, range of benefits. So you're just basically supporting other creators here. You just need to share them, promote creative market, promote their work. And once someone actually buys through that link, you'll get commission on that. So not only you're helping other people, you're also earning on that specific transaction. Now, also, what are the benefits for shop? So let's just go back here and click on shop benefits. Now, for shop benefits, there's going to be a lot more that you could do. Like, for example, you'll be joining a network here. You could basically partner up uh, with Creative Market here. You'll be able to basically share what you are capable of doing uh, regarding with regarding regards with art. Now, I also have the option here to set your own prices. You also have the instant delivery here. So most of the time, art is going to be digital. So instant delivery for that. So there is no no pre uh, per product approval. So meaning every product that you post here, there's no go. There's no need for any approval because we all know that some platform actually needs approval on a specific product before you actually sell them. Now, also, they provide other tools that you could use here for managing your store or your products. Now, you have the uh, keep tracking of your uh, stats, so your products, your sales. You also have the option to keep in touch with your customers, and they also the provide support, so messaging system to respond and request to, and uh, yeah. So we also have the other section here, which includes the samples that they have right now on Creative Market. So graphics, fonts, photos, templates, themes, mockups, and illustrations. Depending on what type of art that you're going to, like for example, if you're into mockups, you're selling a specific mockup for a uh, specific application, you could go ahead and sell that here. Also have templates and themes, so maybe for Shopify or others. So you also have the illustration here, photos, and a lot more. Now here, this is a design story here. So if you want to learn more about Creative Market here, you could read it or watch it in their YouTube channel. Now, how do we start creating our uh, shop here? So usually you should see a open shop here on the sell page, but at the top right of your screen here, you should also see the open a shop option. So let's go ahead and click on open a shop. Now in the open a shop section, you'll be asked to fill out some information about yourself. 
So in this case, this is the sell page here. Let's just click on open a shop again to open up the sign up process. So they have multiple ways on actually creating your account here. So you have the manually here where in this case, you'll need to enter your email address manually or you could use your Facebook or Google account or sign up with Dribbble here. So Dribbble is a platform where in this case, if you're not aware yet, Dribbble is a great platform for you to share your artwork. So if you're looking for clients or you just want to build your profile here, Dribbble is a great platform for you. So if you have a Dribbble account or a Dribbble profile here, you might want to consider using that and sign up for it with Dribbble here so that your accounts will be already connected because later on on the sign up process or the application process here, they'll need a proof or where what are the designs you've done before. Now in this case, all we need to do here is choose whatever here, but for this example, I'll be using Google. So I'll be choosing Google here and choose my email address. And once we've done that, we should be able to see the next page. Now, in this case, we are now within the creative market. So I'm already signed in, as you can see, but we need to open a shop. Just click on open a shop here. Click on open a shop again. And from here, it's going to ask us a few information about yourself. So this is going to be the shop owner application page. Now, in this case, share your work with us. So it's going to ask you a few information like your first name, last name, as well as what category of products will you mainly sell. So they have a lot here, like we saw before, we have photos, 3D, brushes, and more fonts, templates, and teams graphics. So in this case, I'm going to choose photos here. I also have to share a URL where we can view your work. So maybe your uh, Behance profile, your Jimbo page, or your portfolio site. So if you have a Google site where you have your photos there, you can go also share that in here as long as your work is within that specific link. Now, if you have a Dribbble account here, this is just an example, but it may come on different platforms, Google site, like what I said before, Behance or Google sites, whatever here. But in this case, I'll be using my Dribbble account here. So I want to click on my profile at the top right here, and I just want to copy my URL at the very top here, and I want to paste it in here. Now from here, it's going to uh, confirm as I, I confirm that I have permission to submit this work that and go ahead and click on this one. And do you already sell digital assets online? So if you've previously sold assets or digital products online, make sure that you, uh, you click yes here, but I'm going to answer, answer no here and just click on next. Now from here, it's going to access a few information as well. So which option best describes your motivations for selling products on creative market? So go ahead and answer whatever applies to you here. And from here, we want to choose maybe a creative market is a passive income. How would you describe your experience level as an online seller? So I have experience selling through, so I'm going to say I'm new to selling creative products online, which best describes your plan for marketing products on creative market. So I want to say I need some advice, marketing, and from here, we need to click on I have read agree to shop in terms of service. Also, with any platform that you're signing up, it is recommended that you read through their shop terms of service here so that you know what is allowed and what is not allowed within their platform. Now, in this case, once you've done that, click on submit application. And from here, it's going to say one last step. You need to verify your email address. Now, in this case, you need to open up your Gmail account. So if you use your Gmail or your Yahoo account here, you need to open it up. And in here, you should receive a email address or an email from Creative Market. And just click on confirm email here to confirm your email. And once you've done that, it's going to say thanks for applying to become a shop owner with Creative Market. So in this case, you'll need to wait at least one business day for them to review your application. But once your application is reviewed, they will reach out to you via email again. And from then on, you just need to follow their instructions on properly set setting up your account and their introductions on managing your account or your shop. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.